Alright guys, so today on Helia George we went out on a fishing charter for bonefish with fly and spin Aruba. I believe that's what it's called anyway. And um, we caught four bonefish all day, fished for at least six hours. Oh, right at, behind us. I think right we had us. an eight hour four kind of thing. And um, because it was so slow all day, our guide kept us out there for a little bit longer. Now on our way back, we noticed um, a school of blackfin tuna breaking the surface. So we sped yeah! our little flats boat out there in the rough seas, yeah! 25 mile an hour winds and everything like that after a long day's fishing. So we're all tired. My arm's killing me for making those minimum 100 foot casts at those bonefish. So we were just exhausted here. So this video here is going to show you one of the most exciting fishermen you're ever going to see. Now I've never caught tuna, I've never even fished for tuna. So the fact that I got to do this and on a fly rod nonetheless and hook into my first black fin tuna was so exciting you guys have no idea. Later on this week I do have a deep sea charter and I hope to catch some tuna but I never would have expected this on a little flats boat, on a charter, fishing for bonefish, and all this stuff I just never would have expected. So stay tuned because this is an absolute awesome, exciting video. I wish the audio was a little bit better and it was less blurry. However, it's only blurry from the water that's on the lenses because everything got soaked. So stay tuned and watch this video. Oh my God, Jesus. Yep. See now, this is one of those scenarios of what can go wrong well. And it only happened because I was rushing and panicking because I was under so much pressure to get one of these fish. So what happened was the line got lassoed around the little flat stick paddle thing. So I had to get that off while the fish are going by and everyone's yelling at me to get the line in the water. So, oh my God, was this just so stressful. I got him. Oh, I lost him. Oh, I lost him. I got him. I got him. I got him! Get him on the road. Woo! Get him on the road. Oh my god! Woo! Yes! Alright guys, so this is that excitement part I was telling you about. And if I must, I apologize for being so overly excited. But I hope you guys enjoy this at least even a quarter of how much I did. Nope! He's up! Nope! He's still there! Yes! 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 Okay. <laughs> Woo! On a fly rod! <laughs> yeah, baby. Woo! Oh my god! Yes! Woo! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you just made my day! Yes! Line's tight, baby! Yes! <laughs> Woo! Oh my God, yes. What does that mean? Just keep the line tight? Yep. Yes. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> this is a strong fighting fish. Am I still recording on the head? Nope, it's dead. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> Everybody should give these case of beer before. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> so yes, we brought an extra case of beer yes. for our guide as a gift and also sort of like a little tip on top of the tip that we give him after the tour. So that's something we're, I'm trying to start. So whenever you guys go fishing with a guide, always bring him a case of beer. We gotta get this started and rolling because I want to be a fishing guide one day. So I want a case of beer whenever I go fishing. So that doesn't mean that they're not gonna put you on fish if you don't bring a beer, but it's just a very generous thing to do. And it's also a great way to make friends. And also who doesn't like beer? Ha <laughs> ha
Oh my god, we got color! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, he's still deep, though. Don't break the rod, don't break the rod. Let the reel do its work. The, the rod's crooked. Reel do its work. All right. He's just pinwheeling. You're good, you're good, you're good. If the end pulling drag, you're good. Try to get him up. Are you sure? Try to get him up, because if he swims too long in one depth, he will not get tight. We'll pump him up a little bit. Pump the reel of hair. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm working on it! I'm trying to pull him up. Oh my god, this is awesome. My favorite sushi too. Don't say that. Don't use it. Oh my god. Collective. Woo! Woo! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, he's a beautiful fish! Try not to get past the leader. Oh my god, he's like a little torpedo. Oh. Oh, catch and release. Catch and release. Catch and release. Break the hook. Catch and release. No. No. I just want to say that I wasn't even upset, disappointed, or anything about losing that fish. I was still just as happy as I would have been catching it and it was just amazing and I've never felt that way before oh even God. having lost that fish but stay tuned because this video ain't over yet oh my oh God damn! <laughs> Slow down, just cast. Okay, now you're gonna win the event. Worry about the cast. Come on, that's it. Oh, geez, I'm stuck. That's it. It's gonna be a fish. Yes! Woo! Oh, I lost him. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Need to get more line in. There we go. Nice. Oh, I had him. Got him. I got him. Oh, snap. I lost him. I believe. This yeah. was one of the scenarios that the line got wrapped around the camera and I lost the fly and the fish. So that's one of the moments that I wish the guy did not allow me to use a camera. Is this not just absolutely amazing? Like look at that foil. I got him. Of course it's up. <laughs> it is wrapped. Yeah, we lost.
off them. GoPro. This goddamn GoPro. <laughs> what do you know? That's fish number two I lost because of the camera. Unfortunately, I did not learn from that first time. However, I hope I will never let that happen again. At least for a while. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, that was the last cast I ever got to take that night, and we didn't catch any tuna, but you know what? I was still never happier than I have been in my entire life, so thank you very much for watching Healy Outdoors, and if you liked it, please subscribe.